Tecmo's projection. That's the key word here. Projection. What do you think? What are we projecting today, Boom? We're projecting Resident Evil Code Veronica X. No, what does this mean, Boom? Uh, it's got X at the end, so I assume Chris Redfield's a cyborg. Okay, I gotcha. Um, it's believable to me. Evil. Wesker's in the background. It looks sexy. Spoilers, by the way. Red Wesker. I remember Resident Evil Code Veronica. I got it for my Dreamcast, because that's what it originally came out on, and I was so hyped. And when they unveiled Wesker, it fucking changed my life. The American but, uh... In this version, they're just like, oh, by the way, Whiskers there, deal with it. <laughs> Fucking deal get over it. <laughs> also, he's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> so, you familiar with this game? Have you seen this game? Have you heard about it? Oh, yeah. No, I I, uh, I just I got it for the uh, Dreamcast when I was in Charlotte. I, uh, I've seen you play it like a thousand times with the Dreamcast and the GameCube. And what the really I got My you. childhood. <laughs> it's not one of my favorite Resident Evil. It's, it sucks really bad. That's why I wanted you to play it. <laughs> I want to just sit here and banter at how bad it was going to be. At least you didn't tell me to play Resident Evil 6, because uh, no. you wouldn't have been allowed in my house. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. So what's that. happening? Give me a plot summation of Resident Evil up to this point, Luther. All right, well... I'm, I completely do it here. I'm I'm the alien coming out of the spacecraft, and I'm like, Human, tell me of these Code Veronicas. All right, well, anyway, you're in a world with, like, you know, viruses and shit, and there's, like, an evil corporation like Monsanto, and they're like... LOLOL, I want to make some zombies and like, you know, mutant gen, you know, genomes and shit. And like, Fucking genomes, they destroyed Terra and tried to take over Gaia. And like, so they like, you know, go up to this remote location in the middle of nowhere, like in Iowa or somewhere where nobody gives a shit about. Nobody, nobody even knows where Iowa is. Nah, it's, nobody, it's a secret. Nah, Des Moines is a, you know, <laughs> Des Moines doesn't exist. You mean Desmones? <laughs> yes. Desmones. Back with back where I come from in Desmones. <laughs> Get her done. Get her done. Yeah. <laughs> That's the slang of Desmones. Yes, Desmones. Yeah. Anyway, well, they, uh, you know, this Umbrella Corporation, you know, wanted to, uh, I don't know, make zombies for some reason. Fuck it. Because it's fucking awesome. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. They wanted to take over the world and shit. But, with uh, zombies? But now, like, Claire is looking for her brother after some shit, because she's got some kind of, like, Japanese, like, Oh, Sensei, brother, go! <laughs> Oni-chan! Oni-chan! Oh, what are we going to do in the same Senpai room? brother Oni-chan? noticed me! <laughs> what are we going to do at the Raccoon Police Department, Oni-chan? She... I, we haven't talked about what's going on on the screen, but she uh, just she... came into this place and decided she'd had enough. I like to know you could do all this shit when you're playing, Azer. Yeah, I'd like to know if you could drop a gun in midair and then drop to your knees and then be able to aim at something that distance mm-hmm. from you. Like you're, <laughs> you're are not you that calling good? into question the realism of a Resident Evil cinema? Well, <laughs> maybe. Well, you got a good point there, man. Claire, I liked Claire in Resident Evil too. I don't like this Claire. What uh? What system are we playing this for? This is the PlayStation Two version. The PlayStation Two version. As a, we are <laughs> fancy. It's it's why I'm holding a PS Two controller. We're fa- I didn't know that. So I wasn't looking at your crouch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not playing it with my dick. Shit. If it was Resident Evil Two, I could. Yeah. Shit. That shit plays itself. Oh, that's the say I'd say a <laughs> uh, a hunk speed run with your pecker. There you go. Oh god. So, eighty percent pecker. Yeah. So I was going to explain what's actually happening, but you gave such a bad summation of Resident Evil that I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> That's uh, what I'm here for. I think after Resident Evil 2, Claire's like, oh, I'm going to get Chris. And so she ran to Europe over the Bering Strait, which refroze, and then attacked Umbrella Headquarters and then got captured by... Uh, him, uh, uh, Inglacio Rodriguez. You mean you mean Enrique Inglacios? <laughs> yes, like, him too. This is right before he. This is right before he writes the ping pong song. <laughs> yes, he writes that about. How Claire did he Redfield. get shot? Like zombies have taken over the island. So why is he shot? I got shot. <laughs> he got. I don't know. He got shot. Gun zombies. Yeah, guns. Dude, gun zombies. They're. It's a real thing, man. It's an epidemic. It's a real threat, Look at man. this jarring change to it's polygon like, graphics. Oh, my God. Hold on, I got to read the playing manual. The playing manual. It's like, playing manual. It's like, get a better Resident Evil and yeah, put it in seriously. this fucking thing. 
How them. to play. <laughs> I want a copy of this book. How, to, to, how to play, take game, I don't put Resident yeah. Evil 2 in. God, it's, the controls of this game are so not Resident Evil standard. Son, you got a lighter, you need to equip that lighter. I like how they didn't take away her fucking Zippo lighter. Also, she's the first female protagonist ever in Resident Evil to start with a lighter. Well, maybe she, you know... That's why he's so mad. He's like, lady, would you get that lighter? He's like, he's like woman, you're gonna burn this place down, you need to cut it out. before you burn your ovaries up with that shit. You're gonna get lung cancer. Look at you. Look at <laughs> Just from the lighter itself. Yeah, you know. Zippo lighters, they do have a very fragrant aroma to them when you light yes, them. Yes, they do. Butane <laughs> smells like shit. He's so mad that he's fucking, uh, Prilosec ran out. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna he's have like, fucck he's like, heartburn like you're uh, uh, That's what I get for eating four Mexican pizzas. <laughs> Like the tro- like the octagon. Pizza. No, those are frajada pizzas or whatever. What do you think? I don't think there's an option for subtitles. So if people want to know what they're saying, they're just gonna have to infer it because we're talking. Over I mean, we can talk care. over. I mean, he's like a blah 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 blah. I'm some guy. He's like, you need to get out of here. And he's like, I'm dying. Lol. Let me live. Claire with her fucking queen jackets. I'm just hanging out, yo. Okay, here there- we are. You know, dis- disregard the fact that there's bullets that are universally ready for any gun that I you're going like to hand put I'm, out. I'm in a Final Fantasy VII battle and I got confused put on me. Oh, God. <laughs> you should edit in a little a little star above it, you know. Oh, maybe. God. Hemostatic medicine on the floor, does Andy. Let's get some handgun bullets. Yes, I would. Thank you. Let's look. I'm bleeding. This was the first Resident Evil after the original to allow you to examine your objects in 3D. American Wolf! Oh, shit. Those are bullets. Look damn, at them. Damn right, they're bullets. Yeah, they're, they're fucking hexagon bullets. You better have American Wolf pistol cartridges. American Wolf made in USA, baby. Fuck your ass up. Yeah. There's no French wolf. No, this hell This is no. not love. This ain't, this ain't the white flag wolf. This is the Lu- fucking red, white, and blue, baby. This isn't Lupin. I can't read that shit. Uh, it probably says, like, warning, don't eat these. Oh, yeah, Claire. It's probably like a birth warning. <laughs> like, birth, like, like, don't shoot bullets if you're pregnant. Yeah. May complicate pregnancy yes. if you get shot in the stomach. Okay, I think there's an herb in here that they locked her up with. Because they were like, you're going to be locked in there for a long time, baby. You might as well get crunk. Yeah. Get crunk. Green herbs are in indic- See... You're going to see me open that map so many times because Triangle opens the map when in every other God-given Resident Evil, it opens your menu. I have to press start. Oh, Jesus. Can you, like, rebind the shit? No, there are two options. The other one's even worse. The other one, you have to shove a troller up your ass and stand on the DDR map. Okay. Let's actually play the game. Hey, uh... uh I can't even remember the name of it. I'll just take this knife. Yeah, take the knife and stab him. shit. I Stab him. I think I won't. Give me this. Let's check it. This episode, this I should combine ep- it with a bullet soon. This episode is sponsored by Red Zappel. It yeah. is. This weapon is a veteran survivor's first weapon. Actually, the knife in this game is broken as shit. Stab that <laughs> He's bastard. got a fucking metal knee. I ain't gonna fuck him. Yeah, he's he just like, take that water hose and whip my ass with it. Oh, like, I forgot about these. Love he's like, doors. bitch, when I get the strength to get up, I'm going to beat your ass right now. Ink ribbon, I don't really need it. Yeah, yeah. But bullets. Uh, but handgun bullets. Yeah, I hate bad thing in half. Hate yeah. not going to take them. Got to pick up some Tic Tacs, ain't boy? Yep. Tic Tacs. <laughs> yeah, you know. Handgun bullets. Oh, God, spooky tacks. stairs. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's the only time it does this. Oh, God, the controller oh, is shaking. So you feel it? It's... And, and, like, there's a heartbeat sound, and it's like, uh It's a bad like, time. We're scared. We yeah. are. Apparently, there's supposed to be dramatic scaring going on, but I'm, uh... Such stares. Wow, much spooky. Yeah. Such, such <laughs> wow. Such stare. Such, such amazement. Such horror. A such, dead body. Such oil leaking. It is. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Well, trucks blow up all the time when they're red. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part where they're like, Ugh, Claire Redfield, we come from you from the dead on fire. <laughs> is that zombie? I wonder what was going through their head when they, like, designed this part. It's like, yeah, man, like, there's a plane crash and, like, fire zombies gotta come out of that shit. We gotta make it, like, over the top, man, next gen. Ooh. It was next gen. It was Dreamcast. Yes, it was gen. the power of the Dreamcast. Also, you get... 
How did the zombies in the graves contract the T-virus is what I want to know. And they're so decomposed that they've been buried for fucking ever. Maybe it's the rain. Blame it on the rain. Maybe Some the scientist rain. had a big fucking thing of T-virus and he tripped while he was out here. Mixed it up with his fucking high C. Yeah, he was like, ah. <laughs> no, dude, you're getting ahead of us. You're getting ahead of us. Don't spoil it. <laughs> wow, your genuine laugh is almost like... I was, I was making, I was. Uh huh. Claire, you've seen zombies before, sweetheart. You killed nine hundred of them. All right, now we're ass eating zombies. But she's, she's scared every but time. We, we got this knife, so we can. Well, I mean, we can cut their hands. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I'm just gonna get bit and knock them away from me. Let's fuck them. Fuck po zombie police. Wait, that is a resume with it. We are about to be introduced to the best character in the game. Yep. <clears throat> Can't wait. Oh, Jesus. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So convenient. Why yeah. does the barrel Yeah, extend? how about that conveniently placed pistol there? With his fucking minigun or Gatlin gun or... His fucking dead eye Claire Redfield. He's like, he's like, yo, you shot my light out, bitch. Jeez. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I'm not gonna go I'm flounder. Not gonna go I'm not gonna go deer hunt now. <laughs> I'm not gonna go flounder. Flounder, yeah. I need to go flounder gigging after this. Oh, Steve. Jeez. Is there ever been a worse character than Steve Burnside? Uh. <laughs> now that you're looking at him, no. Maybe, Shoot him. Maybe Edward the Spoony Bard, but. I wish Bioware had made this game so Brenna Gabe would pop it right there and you could just fucking shoot. So Steve you'd have like out. 16 hours of dialogue right here where Claire's like, I want to kill you. No, you don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> that's, that's some rhetoric. You don't like me, do you? Yeah. No, I don't like you. I'm Dark Side plus one. <laughs> Dark Side? I think it turns into fucking uh, Knights of the Resident Evil, old Resident Evil. Knights of the Umbrella yes. Republic. Knights of the Umbrella, yes. Republic. What do you think they're talking about? I don't know, they're probably like... He's like, listen, baby. He's like, listen, bitch, get up my face. I don't want these people to see me with you at Hot Topic, it'll ruin my cred. Yeah. I got my, my boyfriend's Chow Kwan can can't be seeing me with you, ho. You don't know what, it, you don't know what to be going on. You don't know me. We be go. We be going to the cave. I do love the touch of detail that the gun. Oh, there it is. I should have a counter every time I bring that map up. That the gun is missing three bullets because she fired them in the cutscene. An Italian handgun. Whoa! It's like, hey, forget about it. <laughs> it's like, hey, Tony, look at this shit I built. Oh, bada bing, bada. You know, I think this is the same gun A. Abria has in uh, Parasite Eve Two. This little in in yeah, probably pack. they've reused so much stuff between this. <laughs> hey, Square Enix or Squaresoft, just to say we're genuine Squaresoft at the time, and Capcom reusing the same. Well, I mean, well, to be honest with you, man, I mean, look at all this PlayStation stuff. I mean, it's probably it, a lot of it is reused within each other. So. I guess this game came out after Parasite Eve, since it's like second gen. Hey guys, how you doing? And you got all that stuff from Final Fantasy VIII that's in Parasite Eve. Oh yeah, Parasite Eve. You can genuinely get the gun blade in Parasite Eve. Too. Yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. I don't actually have to shoot these guys, but fuck them. <laughs> well, you, you're going to be swimming in bullets. Did you pick what what difficulty did you pick? This is just the normal. This is the full oh, difficulty. Okay. Yeah, I'm not worried. Some people play fucking <laughs> map. Some people play games like this super conservative. The only one of these you have to be conservative in is a remake, and that's only if you're playing on a harder difficulty. Yeah. Because people are always like, you got to conserve ammo. It's like, no. I can't I can't play the green, the, I mean the remake anymore, because that fucking zombie, that vested fucking bastard. The oh, the one danger zombie? Yes. Uh, Kevin? Yes. My God, man. He like, just comes at you, son. I remember, I I remember we, we were to the video store, and I was like, Fort fucking teen. And like, you were like, here, Luther, play this game. And I'm like, scared to fucking death of this shit. And I run around this corner, and this motherfucking zombie comes up and hugs me and blows me the fuck up. I'm like, thanks! <laughs> like the thanks, thanks, I'm done! I done. like to think I was hiding in an alley with a Triska on, and I was like, hey, kid. Done! I'm you just wanna done! Play, you want to play a remake on GameCube? It'll it was not cool. Hungry Hungry Hippos, man. It was not good. That's true. It's just, Hungry Hungry Hippos set the bar. Hey guys, there's a plane manual too. There's in here. Yeah, there's there are guns that I can have. 
This guy's beating on the windows. He's so pit. Why is he beating on the window before he sees that I'm in here? Well, maybe he's just like, I want to be in here with you. <laughs> but he did not. <laughs> oh yeah, he has the dual watch him call it. There's a zombie right there. Well, damn, Ben. <laughs> You're fucking clairvoyant. <laughs> clairvoyant. Clairvoyant. Oh, it's too good. Get it? Zinger. <laughs> Bazonga. <laughs> We're gonna write for the next season of the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. And the episode where every, yeah, every yeah. character gets shot in the mouth <laughs> in a barn. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I got past him. I can't believe I'm still alive. Did you get the guns? Yeah. Oh no, you're right. I didn't. So let's return. <laughs> Gotta get the guns again. This is why I'm your backseat driver. You, how did you? You are you. You'll keep me straight. Keep him straight up there, Luther. You're like Paul Luther when he nailed the. Thing oh, son, I remember that. I was so happy about that. I was like, I was like, oh, his name is Luther. I win. Or was that Martin Luther? It was. Uh, it was Martin Luther. I think it was Paul Luther. No, I. Well, who gives a shit? Martin Luther is the real guy. He's been dead for 900 years, and all well, he did was make yeah. church people be... He just, he just led a Protestant revolution. I mean, you know. Son, I'm all for a prostitute revolution. Yeah, me too, but... Uh-oh. Go New Zealand. You ever been scared to walk downstairs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am too, because you get grabbed all the fucking time. Yeah, I don't want to get grabbed by the ghoulies, bro. That's, that's I don't either. It was terrible. That's I, I miss Rare. I miss old Like, years. I tuck my feet under the bed and shit. Like, I'm... I'm I go down the stairs on my forehead. Yeah, for real. I, I, I freaking, like, tumble down the stairs. I only slide down banisters. It's, yes. It's the, it's the way I live. Don't yes. judge me. I get... I like to think of the stairs that could support my ass sliding down the banisters. How about it? Man? Zombies! I just, keep forgetting that I have Just think, man. It had to be like a monorail for the two of us to slide down a fucking banister of stairs. <laughs> a magnetic monorail? Yes. We'd have to shove magnets up our ass first. Shit, I think our ass is enough magnetic we could probably stick to the thing. I mean, Look at you lodging around the fuck camera he angle. just like... That, like was, like, so, ooh, that was cheap as fuck. He was just like, I'm gonna be here right here. It was me. All along around the corner. Stab that motherfucker. Yeah, eat it, eat it. I got him in the gym. You love it, you love it, you love it. it. Cut him up like a deer, son. Skin his ass. Fucking deer. You ever cut a deer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With your car? <laughs> Uh, yeah, almost, actually. I flipped between the two of them, actually. Actually? Okay. All metal. This was a long time ago. This was in the Firebird. This has been shit. Oh, God, the Firebird. Years ago. Alrighty. About just past these crowded corner, as a matter of fact. I went through, like, three of them. <laughs> Damn, were they lining up? They look flame rounds for. Well, they were like they were Australia, walking right? across the road, and there was an empty gap, and I made it through the empty gap. I've done that two or three times, especially in Stacy. They're all over the place there. I, I hate this part. It's like you got to make this like copy of this bronze fucking metal, and it's like yeah, you have to copy it with some kind. Of you have to be some kind of polymer. Fucking, or you got to be some kind of chemist to freaking figure out this part right here. I remember Feel playing that. this as a kid and being like, "Fuck this." Chris Redfield. She's. Like, he's like, "Who's that?" Chris Redfield. I want to fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> That's very blunt. <laughs> no subtlety is that joke. Well, I mean, he has a concave chest. Look at that. He's got a fucking dog collar and a goddamn fucking. He does. Well, so does Claire. Everyone in this game wears a dog collar. The guy who made this game had a little something going on. That he yeah, he's the a little fetishy here. This is not. It's like, uh, what's his name, who made Bayonetta and put glasses on all the women? Uh, well, uh, see, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can deal with that one a little bit better. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because what if it's set in the future where everybody has to wear glasses because of all, of all the light? So she says here that she's sending an email to Leon. Like, that fucking matters. I guess Leon somehow gets in contact with Chris, because Chris is the one that fucking shows up in the second half of the game. I wish Resident Evil 4 Leon would show up in this game, because he'd be like, Oh, Claire, look at this shit. He'd be like 67,000 rocket launchers. He'd just be jumping through windows, because as soon as Resident Evil 2 ends, Leon just goes and eats a big thing corned beef hash and puts hair on his chest, and he becomes such a manly action man. He, he wakes up every day in a Buddhist monk temple and eats shit on a shingle and fucking runs down the mountain, up and down the mountain every day. <laughs> that's that's how you train. Yes, I'd love a Hulk Gimlin, thank you. I can't use it right now, but damn if it ain't a nice option to have. And then he prays for 12 hours so he doesn't have to be with some bitch from the president's office. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, Ashley. Jamie, get that he, issue. 
And then he devouts it and he just throws away all his muck hood and freaking just gives up on it all. <laughs> his muck hood. He class changes. Yeah. Please deposit any metallic items. He's like, I'm tired of spamming chakra to get everybody's mana back up. You like monk as a job class? Oh, uh, yeah, actually, kind of. It was okay. I played White Mage a little bit in the new one. I played White Mage on In the three. new one? Which which one's being 14? Oh, so you played 14. Yeah, I played 14. I see. Yeah, I played, I played a White Mage for a little while. I got like 33 or 34 before I was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> no need to puzzle this. It's not metal, stupid. Especially what the game just told me. Fucking Barker. Yeah. Yeah, freaking Baka guys. Jesus. Tell me about 14, even though I've played it for like a uh, week. I mean, it was alright, man. The, the, the thing about it was, is it was kind of, it was cool, like, you know, when you got people on playing with you, but when you're trying to just, like, grind out those levels to get to 50 to do, you know, other things, it's just, by the time you get to about 30, the story drags on and you go all over the place trying to get this, like, main quest story done, and it's so boring. Like, the story gets good, you just have to, like, suffer through it for so long. Like and I just, did? And I just couldn't do it. It was like, it reminded me of grinding in WoW in vanilla days in the 40s. Like where oh, you, God, in the 40s, you're like, oh, what a Warcraft, that's what it's gonna be, see? Yeah, yeah where you had you to give just... Give me my four! You, ah. just, you had to go to, like, Gadget Zan and just kill <laughs> shit until you leveled. Like, I'm gonna kill uh, Ragnaros here, get taken to him like uh, the Kaiser. Put him in his fucking place. Zutu Riot. Throw back a bottle of beer. <laughs> du -du -du -du. <laughs> you became the Muppets. Okay. Do you ever notice in Resident Evil games when you pick something up or open something, that's when zombies are like, oh, by the way, we can open all doors simultaneously? Yeah. Well, they're like, you know, I guess they're like tr set as a trap. They're probably mind controlled by the hive mind that is. Um... <clears throat> oh, God. You're so spoilers. Much giggly. Yeah, I played 14 for like a week. Hozier bought it for me. I felt obligated. I never once played it with him because, surprise, surprise, I couldn't play on the same fucking server as him. Square Enix. Oh, it's on the other side. That's right. I had to get chased by dogs first. But Square Enix fucking hates the concept. I could see the dog right now, by the way, through the little light opening. Yeah, that's the, like, that's, the, that's the thing about the PlayStation 2 version is it rendered farther out, so some of these, like, jump scares are, like, not the same. Didn't this come out on, uh, like, Xbox Live? Like, uh, HD uh, version? I have no idea. Yeah, it did at the same time that Resident Evil 4 came out. I remember that now. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. I just, I had it for the GameCube and the Dreamcast. Oh, so. Everybody's hiding my camera angle all goddamn time, like, fuck it Herbert Houdini. Did you know he got punched in the stomach and died? It's very funny. Wasn't he Hugh Jackman once? Oh. What's that Hugh Jackman movie where he's a magician? That motherfucker is out of it. Oh, God. Um, I actually have watched that movie, actually. That's right. Damn it. Get the fuck off me. Um, I think Dustin made me watch it, as a matter of fact. What movie? Is it The Prestige? I can't remember, Some, Is it man. The Prestige? I th Maybe. I can't remember. I, dude, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. So before. what happens? Is Hugh Jackman? Is, it, is there a secret prequel for Wolverine? Because all movies are a prequel for it's Wolverine. Pretty, I guess so, <laughs> man. I mean, I guess he is just Wolverine now. I mean, which is not that. Which I mean, if I had to be some kind of method actor, I guess I would or character actor, I'd be Wolverine. I guess. I see. I have no bullets, and I must shoot. Cut, cut, cut. This cut. is in direct flagrant disregard for earlier when I was like, fucking bullets. Bullets. Oh, need suck. a gun. I don't need no damn bullets. Yeah. Isn't there something in the fire extinguisher? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this fire extinguisher, very important. In my first playthrough, I fucked something up because of this fire extinguisher. If, if I'll tell you about it. We won't know about it until the end of the fucking game, but I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it when you're older. Okay. Yeah, when you're more mature enough to deal with it. That's a big knife. I think the house is collapsing. Yeah, I think the house just collapsed too. Must be Miss Joyce downstairs. She heard me talking about bullets and she's like, I'll give you bullets. Hey. How you doing? He's <laughs> throwing shit out of him. It must be so much fun to calmly walk around zombies. Yeah, just like, oh, uh, I, I always feel like zombies aren't as threatening as they're portrayed in media. Yeah, I don't... Well, see, the thing about it is, is in real life, if you were that zombified, you couldn't walk that fast. I don't think you could walk at all, as a matter of fact. Well, I mean, 
a zombie could walk up towards you as long as you pick up something you long, could like, you could just knock him over. You could lunge, like your body could do a lunge, like a dead lunge where your muscles would lock up and you would spring forward, but I don't think you could do much moving other than that. I mean crawling? Uh, in your skin because these wounds refuse to heal I don't know I don't even know if you could crawl man I just know that your muscles could have a tense reaction after you die you know from rigor mortis could have a tense reaction after you die you could spring forward because there, there are cases of people who have died and like from rigor mortis their dead bodies just like spring forward Dude, is this true? Yeah, yeah, then that's true. Yeah, because they blamed it. They called it some kind of like zombie. Oh, thing. you're right. Because in Mr. Deeds, the dead uncle pops out of the coffin when he was frozen in. Yeah, it, it happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of like stand up. You know, they just kind of. <laughs> like yeah, that you went with that. You were like, yeah, it's a perfect citation, Mr. Deeds. Well, I mean, it's true. It happens, man. I mean, rigor mortis kind of does weird shit to you sometimes. All right. Here, let's do a little. Here's a little trick you might not know about. Grab something metal. Set this off. Now it's piss. No, it's like, oh, gee, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like the fuck. All right, we basically what we're doing. I guess we could actually talk about the game I'm fucking playing. Look at that hunk icon, by the way, at the bottom of the screen. He's just like warning, baby. He's like, you see this fucking alligator? He's like, Look bitch, I ain't sample. I'm the fucking warning, bitch. <laughs> if you double click on that icon, it opens an MSN chat window with Hunk, and he's like, yes. He's nice. Like, he's like, can I help you? <laughs> he's like, I'm a little busy. There is a document from Hunk in this game. We'll find it and read it. Where he's like, that fucking French ass island ain't nary fucking bottle of mustard. And they're like, what? He's like, you know, Frenchies. And they're like, oh, Hunk, sweetheart. That's not what that means. Okay. This is a prototype 3D printer. We're going to print the best 3D gun. We're breaking the fourth wall. Ben, is, is the sound supposed to be muted? Uh, the sound is muted on the display screen of the Hapaj recorder. So that oh, way... Oh, the Hapaj. Okay. Yeah. Right, gotcha. Don't worry. I've, I've, I've very... I've done this quite a few times. <laughs> well, I figured you had. I would just... Would it, I just if not, we'll have to go in and do the sound effects ourselves. No, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so normally, when we did that, the zombies were supposed to immediately bust through. Uh -huh. If I played my cards correctly, this should make it where they don't until we get into the hallway, and then we can just run past them. Oh. Please deposit any metallic items. Please deposit twenty-five cent. You ever used a payphone? I have. I have used a payphone. Are there? But do any still exist? Um, as a matter of fact, I saw a friend of mine the other day. Posted, yeah, there we go. I did it right. Posted a picture in Miami of uh, finding a uh, an ancient relic where they uh, found a uh, working payphone. I uh, at the job. The position I used to have at the job, I was a guy up front at the desk, and so people would ask me stupid fucking questions whenever they came in. And, uh, very important, by the way, don't, you would think you don't need an empty fire extinguisher, make sure you grab it, or else you're gonna be super fucking pissed. Oh, later. yeah. Um, but anyway, I was standing up there, and, uh, sometimes people from out of the country would come in and ask stuff. Usually they'd just come in and buy a bunch of electronics that I guess were cheaper here than wherever they're from. Well, yeah. But... Much. They were like, excuse me, and I was like, yes, and they were like, where is a payphone? And I was like, dude, you are not going to find one. I'm sorry, bro, but that shit doesn't exist no more. No more, no more. Yeah, we're kind of, uh, we can't install that mess. <laughs> Against? I didn't realize it was a moral outrage. Well, I mean, you got to imagine the criminal activity that is around the Smooth payphone. criminal activity? Is it because of Michael Jackson? Well, I, I reckon so. Well, I mean, just imagine, like, GTA games and, like, the way that you go to the payphones to get jobs from people. Like That's you know. only in GTA 3, though, right? Or the first three. Well, it's in, Vi it's in Vice City. Well, Vice City takes place in the 80s. That don't count. It's in Vice City, and it's in GTA 3, and I think it's in... I've been examining these guns yet, by the way. I think it's in San Andreas, too, but don't quote me on that. I like how the magazines are on these things. They're like the P90 of handguns. You know, I've never seen these guns in real life. Uh, like you in, probably won't, because they're probably either not real, or they're so freaking uh, illegal, that's uh, <laughs> So freaking, so goddamn so illegal. So goddamn illegal. <laughs> I love Jeep's full handgun bullets, they're my favorite. Of course, once we get the crossbow, we're done, yeah. as far as ammunition goes. 
That's just like that fucking thing. That's just like RE5 to me once I get a shitless crossbow. It's just like, oh, I did not need it. <laughs> they, uh, they made up for the uselessness of the crossbow in uh, Resident Evil 2 by making it so good in this one. Well, relatively speaking, as far as ammo is concerned. God, I remember I sat here for like an hour trying to figure out what the frick I needed to do right here. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was really bad. You know I was really bad at video games. Remember? I did. I did know you were bad. God, I was awful.